If you ever watched a real Melodyne expert at work, then you will have seen the use of many keyboard shortcuts. Let me show you how you can set up these workflow boosters yourself. When the Show Tooltips option in the Preferences is checked, a yellow text will appear in many places. For example, this button here is called Spread Unison. Memorize it and go back to the Preferences, this time to Keyboard Shortcuts. Then type in what you've just learned. What was it again? Something with Unison. There it is. But there's no keyboard shortcut assigned to it yet. So let's define one. What about S for spread? Well, that's already in use. Don't want to replace that. So what about U as in unison? That's good. It was still free. And of course, you could always look around a little bit and find something you use frequently but don't yet know the shortcut for it. For example, this one for undoing all changes to certain nodes only. But say you want a different command, something that's easier to remember. For example, U as in undo. Let's type that in to see if it's still available. No, it's already taken. And command U is also occupied, but shift U or alt U are free. Now look for undo on the left, then type alt U, to the right, and that's it. By the way, I use my own personal shortcuts here, but you can start with shortcut sets similar to those of your favorite door. And whatever you change, save it as your own personal set, which you could then take with you to other computers. Okay, hope you enjoyed my little tip of today. Bye.